Hi, my name is Kitty and I'm a DJ, music producer and label owner. I DJ up and down the country and have had my music played on BBC Radio 1 and featured in DJ Mag. Hi, my name is John Riddell uh, and I'm a, a professional musical director that works primarily in musical theatre. I taught myself to DJ um, a couple of years ago now and then shortly after that I also taught myself how to use the music software Ableton. Because I'd grown up, you know, kind of involved in a lot of music, I understood the music theory so the skill came quite naturally to me but once I knew what all the buttons did. Um, but on the weekends I perform in a variety of settings as a DJ, mainly in clubs and then in my spare time I'll spend that tinkering on my laptop, finding new songs for my sets or even making new tunes myself using music software. At the minute I'm on the Wicked playing keyboards, uh, I'm also a co-conductor, so my day-to-day -day activity I'll either do one or two shows during the day and sometimes I'll get to conduct the show, uh, sometimes I'll take cast rehearsals and I'll kind of teach uh, the cast the kind of harmonies. I also kind of teach at lots of drama schools on the side and do, I also do lots of arranging and orchestrating in my own time for different projects and different singers as well and uh, yeah. Like the first thing that I enjoy about DJing is being able to take multiple songs and create something new, which is like a new blend. So essentially you can take the vocals from one, combine it with the beat of another one, and essentially make your own remixes on the fly, which is really fun. And where I really enjoy it and kind of put my, put my knowledge to the test is where I can use my music theory to kind of mix different tracks. So when I select the next track, I'll make sure that the key is compatible with the track of the, um, the, the, the key of the track that's already playing. So I've always got the circle of fifths in my mind when I'm playing a gig and it means that my sets then transition smoothly in a harmonic sense. So that's kind of how I've taken my knowledge into this new skill. I do a lot of radio, you know, so there are some amazing kind of independent radio stations all over the world who love to have DJs come on and play the songs that they like. So I personally have two radio shows um, and each month then I get to play tunes on the airwaves, talk about the songs and um, sometimes I'm also invited a guest DJ as well. Um, I love listening to other people's radio shows and I'm very grateful that other DJs also like to play my songs I've created on the radio. So I've had a few of my tracks played on BBC Radio 1 and, and Radio 6, which always feels a bit surreal. And the third best thing about DJing, I think, is definitely the people that I've met and kind of the connections I've made. So DJing and making music and obviously just music in general is so much fun, so much more fun with other people. Um, so for DJing, I love to play back to back with people, which essentially means where you've got multiple people playing a set together, I'll play one song and then you'll take it in turns, the next person play another song. And that kind of creates the set. Um, I've also started collaborating with people. So I've been recently making music with, with other producers. It's amazing to be able to collaborate with people all over the world, regardless of location. I actually founded a project called The Beach Archie, which is one of my like favorite music projects. So, so we focus on providing opportunities and learning for marginalized communities within the DJ scene all over England. So we've hosted and kind of run things like beginner DJ workshops, teaching people the basics of using the decks. Um, and then we actually run club nights, so the new DJs can have a go at testing their skills. Um, and then to back that up, we run panels, interviewing big names in the industry, kind of to help give more behind the scenes tips to up and coming artists who will come and, come and have a listen. So yeah, I'm just personally inspired by a lot of the people that I interact with in my community. Um, and it's really heartwarming to kind of give back and see other people grow and really connect with other people through music um, in such a different way to what I've, to what I've been doing growing up. I think there's, there's no particular aspect that I enjoy the most. I think I just, I'm just hugely honoured that I get to call myself a professional musician. You've got to be a, I think, a, a, you've got to have a versatile set of skills. And so one day I might be orchestrating, one day I might be arranging, one day I'm just playing shows, other days I'm playing audition piano, I'm doing loads of sight reading, sometimes I'm teaching. So I, I personally get the most enjoyment out of the variety, but, uh, and that's the kind of that's what I enjoy the most. I started the first Blur Band at Shirley Music Centre when I was five years old, playing the clarinet. So she said that she remembered me playing the clarinet in first Blur, Blur Band, sat on a chair, and my feet didn't touch the ground, so I'm just like just swinging, sat on a chair. So I started the first Blur Band, moved through, moved up through the ranks of the wind bands, getting to senior band with my clarinet. Joined big band as well on the keys and saxophone. I also joined Musica Jazz Orchestra playing the keys and also Musica Youth Orchestra um, playing the clarinet. 
so yeah, I've kind of in, interact with a lot of different ensembles throughout Musica. Let's just go back a while. Uh, I, the first ensemble I enjoyed, uh, I joined was the Home Valley. It must have been the junior, the junior wind band uh, when I was six. And I remember it so clearly, it was Saturday mornings, I was at home from high school, and I remember the first rehearsal, I was so nervous. That was where I started, and then I progressed through the intermediate and the senior wind bands through the, the Home Valley. And then when I was 14, I auditioned for K what was then known as KYSO, the youth orchestra, okay, please. And I did that for four years. Definitely playing the role of a hall for sure. Um, I think I live in London now, and like I actually went to go and watch um, Horse Planet Suite at the BBC Proms a couple of months ago, and I was just sat there and I was like, it is literally just amazing to think that I've I've played here multiple times. That's been, like through you know kind of music for youth with a lot of the musical ensembles um, that I did. I think what an amazing thing to have been able to do to do and say that I've done in, in my childhood, and yeah, really grateful for that. Did I, I remember going on tour with? I think it was. The Batley or Dewsbury swing band. We went to Cologne in 2012. I enjoyed two tours with KOSO as well. We went to Salzburg and then we went to uh, Provence in the south of France. I had the privilege of playing this opening flute solo in pitch black. And it was just me on stage at the Albert Hall, and that was a really amazing experience as well. Yeah. I think for me, it was kind of like just the openness to kind of having a go. So I wasn't just, you know, pigeonholed to do the grades of one instrument. I was encouraged to, you know, having having clarinet lessons in music, I was then having a go at the saxophone. I was then able to join the big bands and do jazz and classical. Um, I was able to kind of, you know, do the orchestras as well as kind of do all of the more improv stuff, which was super cool to be able to be exposed to such different types of music. Um, and I think, yeah, it's just the openness and receptiveness of my teachers to let me have a go at other instruments. I think towards the end, after I'd done my clarinet grades, I start, they let me have a go at learning the flute. I think I even had a go at the bassoon at one point. <laughs> so it was just like really trying out loads of things, like in terms of the different types of music, but also different types of instruments. And, you know, learning how to kind of play with people um, in so many different styles of music was definitely the best thing that music taught me. The obvious one was how to play in an ensemble. Because for me, Music is a very social activity. Enjoy it when I get to make music with other people. It's it's it's, it's a beautiful thing I think because you make you get a lot of personal satisfaction out of playing and getting better at your instrument. But then when you play music with other people, you have this shared experience. So that's the kind of main my enjoyment I get and fulfilment I get from music. Also I remember the, the education it gave me was brilliant. In the orchestra rehearsals we always used to do sectionals before uh, the tusk they were they were quite brutal. <laughs> had very high standards but it, my, my god it made me a much better flute player and just a better musician. I remember as well I, I was lucky enough to get a scholarship which basically subsidised my lessons and I also uh, got free theory lessons and free uh, oral classes as well. I remember you know again just, just being provided with a full round of, of music education. I think my advice would be just an enjoy and try music in all forms and with people. So when I was growing up, I was mainly focused on kind of doing the grades of my instruments and learning the theory. But now when I look back, kind of the things that I enjoyed the most were trying out different instruments, playing in bands, playing piano with my mom, going on trips to competitions, playing concerts with them. It's all kind of like trying new things and involving people as well. So like, you know, an instrument can sometimes be quite solitary if you're just practicing by yourself. So really involving other people and trying out new things just opens your mind up to so many other things. I think no, like excelling in your instrument is great, but then just think of where you can then go from there. So start with piano, did all my grades. Now all the theory and knowledge I have means I can make my own electronic music and DJ gigs up and down the country, which is something I never really imagined I would be doing, but I've enjoyed it so much. And like music can be whatever you want it to be. And if you work hard for the skills in your instrument, it can then be a hobby that you can escape to and always rely on. So for me, I just like didn't really know whether I wanted to do it full time. Um, so at sixth form, I was deciding whether to go full time to music college and go to Cheatham's or whether I would go to Greenheads. And then at university as well, I was like, do I do a maths degree or do I do a music degree? Um, but in the end, I chose kind of to go to Greenhead. I did a maths degree and now I work full time in finance in London. 
but I absolutely love having the balance of the creativity that I get as an artist and a DJ to come home to kind of after a long week in the office. So it's really nice balance in my life. So I think I would encourage um, younger and older people to work hard at your instrument, but be open to trying new things that could come from it, even while the different things like, you know, producing electronic music and DJing. And I always regret not kind of taking up more instruments and just having a go on different instruments and just trying to learn the clarinet or the saxophone or something else and just trying to broaden my skill set. Being a flute player, you know, you can play in the flute choir and you can play in the orchestra, but then you can play saxophone and you might do the jazz band and it just opens up lots more opportunities to a different kind of, uh, to a, a variety of different musical styles. I got through Co-Iso as well, I got the, the huge opportunity and privilege to play Rhapsody in Blue on tour. I did the, I did the piano solo in Rhapsody in Blue and, we, and they, we toured it to Provence, really touched and moved by that and that, and that, that was amazing, that was an unbelievable experience and I'm always thinking of that and being very grateful towards uh, these good companies for those opportunities.